One, one obstacle you might think of is that uh, when I went to Duke, I, I was an internist and I went to Duke to become a cardiology, uh, cardiolo cardiologist. Uh, now, a cardiologist makes a lot more money than uh, a researcher. So that was a, that was a decision I had to make. Uh, and I decided I didn't really want to be a cardiologist when I learned how much I loved research. And my wife, who could have said, you know, we have two children, um, we can't afford to have you, you know, play in the lab. But she was always supportive. Uh, and uh, there were times when money was quite tight, but, um, but she was always supportive. And I used my clinical skills as to moonlight to, to earn some extra money. But I, I don't consider that you know, a particular hardship. Many people have many more difficulties. Um, what I found is that at Stanford, I was supported even when I was failing to achieve my goals. Uh, and I just kept persisting on, on those goals. So I had, the, I had the support and I had the, I guess I had the tenacity to want to keep pursuing them. But, um, but I didn't have any huge obstacles like many you know, many other scientists do.